The newly opened Millennium Bridge in London was closed temporarily this afternoon after it appeared to be swaying excessively under the weight of thousands of pedestrians. The bridge was later reopened, but police had to restrict the number of people using it. They were hoping for large crowds and they weren't disappointed. Thousands came to see the opening of the first new river crossing in central London for a hundred years. The Millennium Bridge, spanning the Thames in a sweeping arc from St Paul's Cathedral to the newly opened Tate Modern Gallery, is expected to carry four million pedestrians a year. But today the numbers proved overwhelming. Within minutes of the opening, the bridge was swaying under the sheer weight of sightseers. I think it's marvellous, but uh, it doesn't half sway. It's like being on a ship. I didn't expect it to move that much, but um, now that I'm getting used to it, it's fine. It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's <Weird>. right. <laughs> But it's <laughs> Most took it in their stride, others voiced their concerns to police who closed the bridge while they consulted safety experts. The bridge's designers say it was built to allow some movement. Organisers of the opening say 100,000 people have tried to cross here today. Even with restricted access, the bridge is still swaying, though engineers have reassured police that there's no safety risk. Daniel Bircher, BBC News, on the Millennium Bridge.